I know what you may be thinking, but never buy this GPU. So imagine this, you walk into a Best Buy and you're trying to find a GPU for your build and they have nothing. There's a shortage going on. Prices are through the roof. So you see this bad boy sitting on the shelf. It's always in stock. And you think to yourself, should I buy it? Should I spend the $110 that this GPU costs and throw it in? Cause it must be better than nothing. We're gonna find out if it is. You like these socks? So we're gonna be putting this GPU into this PC over here, which has got an i3 10100F, 16 gigs of RAM. We're gonna get rid of that 1060. We're gonna put this bad boy in there to see exactly how it is. And we'll compare it to the integrated graphics on some of the things out there. The GT730 has actually been re-released by several companies. So this is actually a brand new graphics card that you can buy right now, but it's based on a 12 year old architecture. Kepler is the name of what's on this chip. And it is ancient at this point. And this specific model has two gigabytes of VRAM, but they do ship ones out with four gigabytes of VRAM. But I am not expecting much of this. And need I remind you, I spent a hundred plus dollars on this. In the box, they also include low profile brackets in case you need to put this in an itty little bitty setup, but we're gonna install it now into this system over here, as I mentioned, but we're gonna do so after I tell you about today's video sponsor, The Ridge, who makes wallets that are GT730 size, okay? You don't wanna be like my employee who has this massive gargantuan wallet that is absolutely from the wrong era. This thing's bigger than the GPU, my friend. The Ridge Wallet gives sleek, minimalistic, everyday wallets that are easy for you to carry around. They have tons of different versions that you can pick up, whether it's the carbon fiber, the matte white, you've got titanium. They have tens of thousands of five-star reviews and they're incredibly durable. They come with a lifetime warranty and they're so confident that you'll love it. They'll give you a full refund within 45 days if you actually don't like it, which I don't understand why you wouldn't. You don't wanna be like the new employee who has something thick like this. My friend, you now get a Ridge wallet, okay? That's yours. You're supposed to catch it, but you're holding a camera. It makes it a little difficult. I, will, I, I expect to see the next time we, we do a Ridge sponsorship, that's gotta be a lot smaller. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> So don't be like the new employee, be like me and save 10% off your Ridge wallet purchase at ridge.com forward slash UFD. You get free shipping with it as well. Again, that's ridge.com forward slash UFD. Big thanks to the Ridge for sponsoring today's video of something that's appropriately sized. Like, look at that, look at that. Look at how close they are in size. They're the same thickness. So this thing is itty bitty and cute. It's gonna fit into this small build perfectly. 1063 gig, absolutely massive compared to this single slot. This does have a VGA port an HDMI and DVI. So in case you need old school displays, you can do that. And it doesn't require a power connector whatsoever. And in case you don't know, if you have these short slots, they do fit into these long boys here. You just don't get to deal with the clips. Graphics card installed. Let's see how bad this is. I spent a hundred dollars on this. This was his idea. Why did you make me buy this? Do you think we're gonna use this footage? <laughs> yeah, it looks bad. That's the point. I'm so peeved. We, we have a display port to this monitor. I can't even hook up the graphics card. I have to get a new cable out. So I tested the card and it was, it hurt my soul. Let's, oh gosh. So let's start off with the worst first. Elden Ring. Didn't even run. I got a white screen and then a, a no maidens for me. God of War. Also, no running. You can't be a god boy when you're playing with this GPU. Horizon Zero Dawn, that actually did end up working. Eight FPS at 720p lowest settings possible. It not good. Positive news, Cyberpunk actually ran. Also eight FPS at 720p lowest possible. Valorant did okay-ish. We were in the 50 to 60 FPS range, nothing good. It, it was a very violent experience and hard to play. The best performing game for a lot of reasons was Fortnite. We averaged 60 plus FPS with the GT730, but that was at 720p lowest possible settings, performance mode turned on, and render resolution set to 37%, which means that we were running effectively at like 360p. We got the frame rate, but I couldn't see who I was shooting at because they were like four pixels. It was an absolutely atrocious experience. Let's take though, for comparison, my Ryzen 3 5300G system. Let not the gigantic size of the PC fool you. There is a four core eight thread APU in this build. This thing by comparison, 
comparison, which you can buy in a pre-built desktop for $350 total, everything included, ran Fortnite at 720p lowest with full render resolution at 120 FPS average for the most part. Elden Ring actually ran. We got like 40-ish FPS and Valorant was a couple hundred FPS a system that can cost you a couple hundred dollars more than the GT 730 actually performed well. And that's why in this GPU drought, if you see this in stock at Best Buy, you say no, you say no thank you. I will not succumb to that temptation. I know $120 for this is absurd. I remember we were paying $100 for a GTX 1060 6 gig at one point. You used to be able to get really good performance, but even still, the GT 730, while it may be in stock, is for a very, very small subsect of people who need a tiny GPU that only needs to do display out. And even then, getting an APU makes a lot more sense. Getting something like an i3-10100 would be better. This was awful. Why did you make me buy this? Don't ever make me buy stupid things like this. Are you gonna make me do videos on bad PC parts? Is that your, your game here? If you wanna see how an APU is actually supposed to perform, go watch our review of the Ryzen 3 5300G right there.